this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. And right, the first thing I want to do before anything else is see if I can take out that skeleton there who's in the waterfall. It's trying to, to wash its words. Oh, that was close. That was close. A little bit lower. Oh, I think I hit it into the waterfall. <laughs> now it's swimming up. I think it's trying to hide from me. I don't think there's a, a secret trap door behind the waterfall, do you? Where's it? Where's it gone? Is it? Is it gone? Did I get it? I'll assume I get it. I shall assume I got it. Let's assume it's gone. <laughs> uh, anyway, today in this episode, I'm going to be joined by levers. Lots and lots of levers. <laughs> I can easily follow the trail of levers to find out who placed them here, Lever. What's all these for? Do they do anything? Nope, they just switch around all over the place. Um, careful not to trip up on them. <laughs> uh, I am going to be joined by Lever, and I am also going to be joined by Squishy. Hello, Squishy. It's okay. You can come in. It's all right. All of the, the boys are dressed. It's okay. You're allowed to, to come in. Um, watch out for the, the levers that are randomly over the floor. Looks like uh, uh, Lee is uh, clearing them up now anyway, though, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, anyway, I believe it is time for my breakfast. So, uh, Lee Bear, do you want to give me a, a nice tasty cake for my breakfast? <gasps> nom, 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 nom. Mm, a cake and two levers. Exactly how I like it. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> and there's actually someone I want to go and visit. Let's go, let's go visit Harriet. We built Harriet, her lovely house on a hill. And we built her, her hat shop as well a while ago. And since then, we have just been totally blanking her. And I want to go and say hello to her to be polite. Well, actually, while I'm on my way, though, I might as well add someone to my love garden. And today, I am adding Andy Derp. And that's because he has sent me all of these absolutely brilliant drawings that he did. And there's such amazing variety, uh, both in the things that he's drawing and the style that he draws. I thought they were really good, uh, absolutely fantastic. I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for sending me all of these pictures, Andy. And welcome to my love garden. Anyway, let's go say hello to Harriet. So first, uh, we need to try and track down where she is. She's a, a little bit of a roamer. Harrison kind of stays pretty tight inside of his cozy house. Uh, Harriet sorts of uh, wanders around the place. So we're going to have to see where she is. Um, Harriet, hello? Anyone home? I can't I can't see her anywhere around here. At least she isn't having a lane. Alright, let's go down the uh, the secret entrance then and into the, the hat shop itself then. So, uh, Harriet... All right, are you here? Is she, is she behind the counter? She's not. Harriet is not tending the hat shop. Anything could have happened. Has she wandered out round here? I told you, there we go. She's a Roma. <laughs> she wanders around here in the day, goes for walks, looks after the big bumblebee, and then at night she goes back into her house or the hat shop and, uh, yeah, stays there. Um, is it okay to buy some of your, uh, to buy some of your hats, please, Harriet? And, uh, by buy, I mean take, um... Yes, yes, I'll assume it is okay. She didn't answer, but let's assume. Let's all go and take a hat each. So what uh, hat shall I go for? Baby blue bonanza, uh, boisterous bruise, grass stain fantasy. Looks like Lee Bear's gone for time for lime. There's hello yellow there. I have a strong feeling that Squishy might go for that one. I am going to go for embarrassed panda. I am going to go and wear an embarrassed panda hat. So there we go. I am now wearing my embarrassed panda cap. <laughs> it looks absolutely amazing. There's Squishy's hello yellow and Lee Bear's time for lime. Anyway, it may be time for lime, but it's also time to get on with actually doing some some work today. So uh, let me try and get to my doghouse. Let's go a more fun way than normal, though. Let's ender pearl to the, the roof up there, and uh, then let's go and ender pearl all the way down to the, the doghouse and uh, pick which dog is going to be joining me for the video. If I throw one up here, do you reckon I'm going to be able to throw one over the building and land by the doghouse? Ooh! Ooh, <laughs> I landed on top of the uh, the chicken coop. This isn't exactly where I meant to land, but this will do. This will work. This will work. So let's go and uh, decide which dog is going to be joining me in today's video. I feel like having let's have let's have Luna with me, my my youngest dog that I have, and here she is sitting down here very nicely. Uh, Luna, you can come and join me on this video. And uh, before we go and carry on building, uh, there are a few uh, a few things that I need to gather. I need to get uh, some more sugar cane. Uh, you may remember that we are building a bookshop and. And uh, to build books, you need what? Well, to build books, to make books, sorry. <laughs> you need paper. And uh, to get paper, you need sugarcane. And then we're going to make the paper into some books. I'm also 
also a little bit worried going around all of the cacti with uh, Luna running around her. I'm not sure when she's gone. Oh, there's a bear. There's a bear hiding in the sugar cane. That was terrifying. <laughs> where, where is Luna? Luna, are you, are you okay? Is Luna around her? I'm sure she's going to show up. She's just having a little bit of a wonder. She's just excited. Uh, so yeah, I needed this. I also need to go and I get a little bit more leather as well. Uh, I do have a bit more on me. I've got a 37. Uh, so that would be enough to make 37 books. And uh, you need uh, three uh, books per bookcase. And oh, <laughs> looks like this cow. This cow is on the tree. This cow saw me coming and wanted to get away sharpish. <laughs> so yeah, so sadly, we are going to have to go and uh, take out some of these cows. Uh, it's all for the, the greater good. It's going to get some steak for our bellies and some books for our bookshop as well. So let's go and uh, gather up a, a little bit more of this uh, leather. Uh, this should hopefully now uh, be enough uh, for us to, to finish off making the bookshop. Oh no, there is actually one more thing that I need to pick up. And oh, Luna, please stay away from the lava. Right, I am going to get some steak ready and I am not going to take my eyes off Luna while I walk past this lava. Come on, Luna, you've got to follow me. Stay close. Keep looking at me. Keep looking in my eyes, Luna. Don't look away. Don't look away. I'm trying to hypnotize her by the sounds of it. Are you okay? And there we go. We are now safely away from the lava. So let's go and uh, head back uh, to the uh, the need to read bookstore then. And uh, yeah, the, the thing that I needed to get uh, was some lava. And uh, you're going to see why I'm getting lava uh, a little bit later on. But it is actually uh, uh, kind of useful for the thing that I, uh, I'm doing. So uh, and once again, Luna, uh, please stay. Actually, tell you what, I'm going to I'm going to sit Luna down for now because I do not want you coming into the um, <laughs> into the the lava storeroom for obvious reasons. So uh, first thing I need to do is actually uh, make a bucket because there are actually no buckets in there. Uh, so that way I got something to, to scoop up my lava. Uh, so let's go and uh, I only really need one piece of lava. So I just make one bucket and uh, let's come down here and go and scoop some up just like that and I'm going to put that safely away in my pocket so I don't accidentally drop it and uh, let's go and uh, gather up the crafting table and finally uh, head over to the the bookshop then shall we luckily uh, even though I've wasted a bunch of time uh, we didn't actually have too much left to do in the bookshop we made uh, some pretty good progress in the the last episode and so really uh, we want to oh hello <laughs> looks like everyone's jumping around in the in the wishing well come on guys come I know we're being a bit lazy today and we're just going around and doing silly things but we do want to get the bookshop complete. Let's go and uh, finally get some work done, shall we? Uh, so yeah, all we really need to do as I finish off the, the inside, uh, putting in the books and uh, also uh, naming the, the different categories of books as well. And uh, also, uh, we want to do a, uh, a fireplace and a chimney, uh, which is why we've got the lava. And I'll explain why we're having uh, lava in our chimney <laughs> once I uh, go and begin building that. But trust me, uh, we do have a good reason. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing it because hopefully, yes, look, you can see that the grass has now spread all over the top of it. So rather than looking like a big pile of dirt, which it did look uh, a little bit like in the last episode it now looks like a proper little hill and on the inside uh, you can see that yeah it's not really changed much since the <laughs> since the the last episode so I guess the first thing to do is to go and add some books you can't really have a bookshop without having books so I need to go and make all of the um sugarcane into paper like this then I'm going to make the paper into books just like this no I actually didn't get enough sugarcane I do actually have a uh, 34 leather left so I could actually uh, go back and get some more later and uh, make even more bookcases but let's see uh, how many we can make already just like this no there we go someone else grabbed some sugarcane as well we can go and uh, make ourselves a, a few more books uh, which will be able to uh, allow us to make even more bookcases so let's see uh, how many I can make with these so this is uh, an extra nine bookcases and uh, so let's go and uh, start arranging these then shall we? Oh looks like they're already uh, a bunch all over the place let's go and uh, fill in this gap down here and we're going to do bookcases all the way around here basically uh, all the way around the the outside walls uh, is going to be covered in bookcases so while uh, my Minecraft helpers go and uh, fill the rest in uh, I'm going to go and begin building a fireplace so uh, just a little pre-warning to everyone there is going to be a pit of fire inside of the middle of the room please do not stand on it and Luna I'm talking to you here as well. Luna, stop jumping around up there. Luna, look at me. Look at me. Luna, I got food. There we go. That got you to look at me. Do not stand in the middle of the room. There will be fire, okay? Good girl. I love you. Now just stay there. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, set this fireplace up then. So uh, to have an endless fire, you of course need to put down some Neverack and uh, then you just need to set it alight uh, using some flint and steel. And carefully, careful, I nearly set fire to your trousers there. <laughs> let's go and uh, set the fire going then. But that is obviously a little bit dangerous, uh, especially when we're in a room full of wood and books. Uh, so let's go and uh, do some protection around it then, shall we? Uh, I need to go and put down my crafting table uh, so I can go and make uh, a few things. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, um, I got some stone bricks and uh, I'm going to use them to make uh, a few half slabs that I can go and uh, put around the, the outside. So I'm going to put some there 
there and there and uh, also there as well. And uh, what should we do then? I, I want to do a, a big chimney leading up to the top, uh, but I want to make sure I've left a, a little bit of a gap so you can actually see where the, the fire is. So let's just kind of make this up and uh, see what we want to do. Um, I think I'm going to do it higher than that, actually. Uh, I want to make sure you can't walk in the fire, but you can see the fire, if that makes sense. So let me go and uh, build up to the, the ceiling. Uh, this is how the, the chimney is going to be leading to the, the outside like this. And the only problem is it does take up uh, quite a lot of the room, uh, but I don't mind that because I think it will just make the room a little bit cozier. So here we go. This is nicer, and this way you can see the fire, uh, but you can't actually walk in it. Uh, you kind of bang your head, so you can't actually get to the fire. So it is actually uh, pretty safe, even though it doesn't look very safe. And look at all of these books. This looks absolutely amazing. Uh, but I want to add a, a few more details. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make myself some uh, cobblestone walls, and I'm going to put them as pillars uh, along the, the side of the fire. The fireplace so I'm going to do a, a row of uh, columns leading up like this and then I'm going to do the same here so I might just do them to, to there and then do a, a, bl a block of uh, the, the stone on the top there so I think this looks kind of cool and this kind of adds a, a little bit of a uh, extra protection as well so no one should uh, run into it so uh, let me go and break away I think I did it to the top there see if I can grab that without it falling on the fire yep and I can go and place that here and then I can go and grab the, the rest of these uh, stone bricks and I can go and arrange them all like this uh, around the top here, here, and here. There we go. I have made a rather lovely fireplace. I like the look of that. Oh, actually, I've got an idea. Instead of using these uh, stone blocks, I could uh, do some staircases instead. Look, if I've got st uh, four staircases here, if I go and break these away and then do upside down staircases like that, uh, then it adds a, a little bit of a slant and just add a, a little bit of extra detail. And I think we have then completed our fireplace. All I need to do then is go out to the uh, the top and uh, do the, the, um, the chimney uh, coming out of the uh, the top and this is the bit which is um a little bit more dangerous and this is the uh, the reason I got my lava so Luna uh, you can come inside now because it's safe let me just sit you down and I can slide you inside you can sit in front of the fire but please do not come upstairs because uh, Stampy Cat is going to be playing with lava do not do this at home <laughs> right let me go and try and show you how you can make a big looking fire basically if you have a boat which is burning it makes a really big flame, uh, much bigger uh, than you just if uh, you had Neverack burning. So there was a trick that you could do if uh, you had burning Neverack, then you put a boat on top and it made a really big flame. Unfortunately, at the moment, if you try and do that on the uh, the Xbox version, uh, it actually crashes the game, uh, so we can't do that. But there is a workaround. Instead of using Neverack, uh, you can use lava to set fire to the boat, so it's a little bit more dangerous. Well, it's a lot more dangerous, but <laughs> it should hopefully still work. So let me go and uh, block this hole because we don't want the, the lava to be falling down. So if I just do a half slab there, uh, it should still look nice inside there. But I can now go and uh, plonk in my lava into the top here. So this will be lighting up the area uh, as if that's the light coming from the chimney. And now if I put my boat down on top of it here, it should hopefully make a big flame. There we go. You can see it makes a, a huge flame uh, on top of where the, the boat is. And it kind of goes in and out it will burn for a bit then stop burning and I kind of like the look of that it kind of makes a, a pretty cool effect so all I need to do now uh, is build the the rest of the chimney uh, on the the top of it so I can't knock the boat I need to I can't rock the boat <laughs> I need to be careful not to hit the boat so I'm going to build up around like this like this and then like this and uh, then I can build up here and uh, this is where the uh, the actual chimney is going to, to be here. And uh, let me go and uh, grab a little bit of this dirt. And uh, let me fill this in around the outside. I can fill this in here. And uh, I can fill it. I can't actually place it there because uh, the boat will block it. So I'm going to have to find uh, a different way of uh, blocking that. I could use uh, more half slabs, actually. And then that way it won't look too big. Uh, it should actually just look pretty cool. So let me go and uh, make myself a, a few more of these uh, stone brick half slabs. And I can go and put some of these uh, around the, the outside like this. And then that way the boat should stay still be able to stay there uh, but I won't um, I won't take up too much room here so I can place uh, all of these are around the outside like this because uh, I don't want the the chimney to be too big so I'm gonna go and uh, get rid of the the outside bricks around here like that and then the the, the, uh, the chimney won't look too huge uh, huge but you can see the flame I might actually uh, break away here as well so you can actually see the the flame a little bit better so there we go 
What do you think of that? This is my lovely looking chimney. You can see uh, the flame there going in and out uh, from the from the top. So it's only a little chimney, uh, but I do think that it looks pretty cool. And if I wanted, I could make this whole thing a little bit higher. Uh, so that way it looks like a, a taller chimney. Uh, but I like it looking just like that. So let me go uh, Let me go on top of the um, the superior interior furniture shop and uh, have a look at it from up here. I like it. I love the way you can uh, see it burning. Whenever you look at it from somewhere high up, uh, I think it will look pretty cool. And actually, I did have an idea. Instead of just having it... Uh, just like grass, we could actually put some flowers and uh, some tall grass on it. So if I try and get some bones uh, from this uh, skeleton, I could actually go and put some bone all over it. And uh, then that way it'll make it look a little bit prettier. Because at the moment it looks nice, it looks cool, but I think uh, having some flowers and some grass uh, will just make it look a, a little bit more like a real hill. So I can go and uh, make myself some bone mill, and I can go and start scattering this uh, all over the, the top. I can kind of just plonk it down everywhere, and it should just kind of spread out uh, all over the place just like like this and uh, make it look much more like a, a natural hill. There we go. I prefer that. I think uh, that looks much nicer. And also, I need to add some windows. I can't believe uh, I forgot about the windows. Let me go and uh, put a furnace down here and uh, I'm going to go and just uh, gather up a, a bit of sand. Uh, there's a pretty nice patch of sand down here. I don't need too much. Uh, I reckon I'll probably have... Um, I don't know, I just have a few window panes. This should be uh, more than enough sand now. Uh, so let me just go and uh, plomp this in my furnace and leave that smelting. And then in a minute, I can come back out and uh, start putting in some windows. So I'm just going to put uh, some of these wooden planks in. That should be uh, more uh, than enough uh, to make myself enough glass. And let's have a look in the inside. And here we go. It looks like these are the names of some of the cat trees. Books about Lee Bear. This is... Do, do we really need this many books about you, Lee Bear? Really? What else have we got? We got all non-fiction and fiction. Uh, these are the the bookworms. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I guess I, I can leave my Minecraft helpers to do a, a lot of the size. Let's go and add a, a few in myself as well. Bookworms. I like that. <laughs> right. Let's go and uh, make a few signs then and uh, help naming some of these books. And oh, I can hear I can hear arrows going. I can hear arrows going. Was that was that one of my helpers? Oh, it was one of my helpers. What have we got up here? Books about ducks. <laughs> well, can we have at least books about cats as well then? Shall we? Let's have uh, some books about cats up here then just to, to make it fair so books about cats there we go so now we got books about all of us at least so that's good <laughs> and uh, we can also have um we can have uh, let's have some ghost stories as well i like my ghost story so this can be the the ghost stories section uh, let me make sure i spell this right ghost stories uh, just like that and uh, we can also have some uh, we can have some coloring books as well uh, if we want to do some coloring in so this can be the the coloring oh coloring -ing. <laughs> coloring books can be uh, up here very nice and uh, yeah we can also have a uh, poetry books we can have all sorts of different books we can have bookmarks we can have uh, everything we need uh, for the different types of books so I guess I'm gonna leave Squashy and Lee Bear uh, to carry on naming the books and while they're doing that I am gonna go and add in my window so I should have uh, enough glass here and the the windows are going to be on either side around here so I think there might be a few books in the way at the moment yeah we might have to to destroy a few of these books I might actually uh, make them into to glass panes uh, rather than having them as uh, glass books I think might look a little bit nicer here so let's go and uh, here we go I got 16 glass panes now that will be more than enough uh, for these few little windows so let's go and uh, do three down here and uh, actually I should have probably broke away the the books first right let's try and make a guess uh, where these windows were hopefully they're in the middle around here so sorry books I'm gonna have to destroy you there we go I'm trying really hard not to, to smash the the glass as well and at least uh, we can go and gather these books back up so there we go there's a three windows there and uh, let me go to the the other side here and add them on this side i'm expecting to see a lee bear as i break away these blocks oh, oh no i'm seeing a duck <laughs> hello guys hello guys right so where do i want the the windows to be i want them to be there there and if i break away a bit more of this dirt and then i can have them down uh here as well uh, so once those books are broken away i uh, will be able to see it properly i kind of need to, to reshape it a little bit i kind of need to do it a bit like this and uh, let me go and uh, break away uh, a few blocks uh, along the the front down here as well and uh, go and uh, plonk a few more of those torches back in uh, yeah just to, to light up this side uh, of the the bookshop as well and then uh, the final sign that i need to add in is of course a sign on the front just naming what this place is so as I said, it's going to be called the Need to Read Bookstore. And hello, 
Hello, would you like to, to read a book? Have you come in to read? Look, you can follow me in here and I'm sure we can find some lovely books about slimes. Can someone add a, a section for books about slimes, please? Because uh, we have a, our first customer to the books. No, come on, you can you can make your way around these crafting tables, can't you? There we go. Right, we need uh, some books about slimes, please, because uh, we have our, our first customer to the uh, to the, the bookstore. Do we have any books about slimes anywhere? Any books, books about slimes? Uh, I, I don't think we do. Right, let me go and add up here uh, some books about slimes then, shall we? Books about slimes. There we go. <laughs> and here we go. You can you can stay here under uh, next to Luna and you can read all of these books about slimes. There we go. <laughs> anyway, the, the sign I was going to add uh, is on the, the front up here and it was going to be uh, the, the name of the shop, which is, of course, need to read book shop there we go we have finally finished a bookshop yay my lovely world now has a bookshop so this was uh, absolutely brilliant fantastic so in the next episode we are going to be uh, having a book themed mini game uh, to decide who the the employee uh, of the the month is going to be and then yeah they can be uh, in charge of looking after uh, all of these these books in the the bookshops uh, there's the books about cats there bookworms ghost stories coloring books books about slimes fiction uh, non-fiction and uh, cookbooks as well <laughs> i'm sure Bear's going to be reading lots of them. But sadly, uh, there's the end of this episode here. As always, I'll be leaving a link in the description to the next episode once it's online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!